Thorne does not hide his role in the mutiny and manages to win over the majority of the Watch by reasoning that John was willing to risk the Watch's future through his allegiance with the Wildlings. Effectively acting Lord Commander of the Night's Watch once again, Thorne speaks with Davos Seaworth, who is guarding John's body in a locked room with Edison Tollett and other Black Brothers loyal to John, and offers him safe passage to the south with a horse and supplies, but Davos's mocking request for mutton convinces Thorne that they have no intention of backing down, but will fight to the death. Thorne promises Davos that if he and John's friends do not surrender, they will die. Davos sends Ed to the Wildlings for help, and they breach the gate of Castle Black with the help of the giant one vague one da one. Thorne attempts to rally the Night's Watch to fight them off, but they are severely outnumbered and terrified of the giant, and the rest of Thorne's brothers surrender. Only a handful resist, two of whom are killed. Thorne and the other brothers who helped in Jon Snow's execution are subsequently taken as prisoners. After John has been resurrected by Melisandre, he issues the mutineer's execution. When John asks for his last words, Thorne disheartens John, stating that while he will rest, John will keep fighting. He expresses no regret for leading the mutiny, saying he prays he would have done the same thing over again even if he knew the outcome. John then proceeds to cut the rope to hang all of the mutineers, and orders Ed to burn their bodies.